Hi guys, welcome back to Articulate. I have uh, two boxes here. The uh, Transformer 3A Bumblebee. Uh, one is for my pal and the other one I will be uh, showing off right after this. So stay tuned. I will be uh, doing a unboxing and also a quick overview of this incredible figure. Alright, let's uh, pop this uh, baby out and uh, have a look what we have inside. Uh, this is what we have here. There's the uh, instruction on the uh, battery installation. Looking very nice. And uh, this is the uh, padding. I was told uh, from some of the review that the padding have to be very careful. And this is the uh, gun. Looking amazing. And uh, here is the figure. Outstanding looking figure. Uh, I almost forgot. It also comes with this uh, bumblebee, uh, this uh, face mask, which is uh, looking very nice, and also uh, some parts here for the head, uh, if I'm not mistaken. This uh, right hand replacement uh, cannon is looking fantastic. Uh, first uh, impression is once you pick this up, uh, it's a bit of uh, light on the light side, but nevertheless, the uh, scope design is exactly as what you've seen on screen, so it's very detailed. Just look at that. So with that, let me uh, pop out Bumblebee and have a look at the overall figure. And finally, I have got my uh, 3A Bumblebee out of the box. And just the look itself is pretty much amazing. The amount of detail on this guy is fantastic. This is uh, possibly one of my best collection of all the uh, statues and uh, toys that I have for all these years. Uh, although uh, this figure looks fantastic, there are some minor issues which I may want to highlight here. Uh, you, one of them is actually you need to be very careful on some of the parts like the one the produce some of these produced uh, parts here the parts at the back here you have to be very careful when you uh, do this kind of uh, dynamic pose but uh, if you are very careful I think uh, you won't break anything uh, as for this uh, pose, I was just uh, meddling with all the uh, articulation and actually I have broke something which I will uh, review right after this. Just look at the pose. Just to have this kind of pose for such a big figure is very amazing. Look at Bumblebee. The head scalp is fantastic. Uh, as you can see, um, there is uh, two options whereby you can have the uh, strips on the top of uh, Bumblebee, but I have uh, left it up because uh, the only pack that you need to slot in is this two small little holes so um, if you start uh, posing the uh, head 
uh, those uh, two strips will actually uh, fall off so I just uh, left it out and uh, it still looks nice because with the strips on top you won't see some of these details groove lines panel lines here so uh, without the two uh, top strips uh, panel on top of his uh, head it still stuck fence that's fantastic look at that simply outstanding figure one of the best that uh, 3 hay has ever uh, released Um, the other thing that I want to point out is uh, uh, the arm of uh, this bumblebee actually this is uh, adjustable back and forth adjustable back and forward uh, there is a reason behind it <laughs> after I realized when I start posing this figure once you have this one uh, adjusted at the further part uh, the hands here may actually make uh, in contact with this uh, pin so it's uh, advisable to actually push this one uh, back as uh, much as you can so that uh, the hand the top of this uh, hand will not actually have contact with the pin here otherwise uh, this whole thing will be start uh, chipping off the pin so uh, you just have to be very uh, cautious and uh, careful on uh, how you actually uh, pose this guy the articulation and uh, possibility of this uh, figure is fantastic a lot of uh, those uh, small little uh, panel parts actually are possi possible as you can see even the uh, top here there's a ball joint which uh, you can pose this uh, this part here uh, also is uh, posable uh, it actually uh, move uh, according to your uh, arm here it will actually flex up and uh, the fingers also is uh, quite interesting uh, you can have some possibility here uh, although the uh, this uh, main finger here you can't actually rotate it's a fixed uh, position the only one that you can uh, pose is uh, this thumb up and down so uh, I think it's still okay because uh, it still looks very nice the rest even the chest piece it looks as though this uh, it's a hinge here as though this thing can uh, push uh, up but uh, I try to move this guy but I don't think this is possible it's not uh, mentioned in the uh, instruction so I will not try to move this guy up otherwise you will break off this uh, hinge so you have to be very careful about that and uh, of course the uh, knee uh, you have to be also a bit uh, careful this knee actually is not die cast it's just a, a very uh, soft uh, plastic um, you have to be very careful when you pose um, try to hold the hip and also the leg when you pose so that uh, the stress will not affect the uh, joint uh, at, this, at this area the feet is also possible it can actually rotate uh, sideways and also uh, flip up and down so with that uh, when you try to uh, pose the leg in uh, such an angle the feet will correspond uh, following the leg uh, which is uh, quite good uh, to achieve uh, this kind of uh, dynamic poses Uh, one thing I have uh, forgotten is the articulation of uh, Bumblebee, uh, Bumblebee's uh, head. 
um, it actually can uh, look up down turn right and left but uh, with some uh, dynamic pose you may want to have the uh, head turning a bit further to the uh, left but uh, it's quite tough because uh, of this flap you may hit the uh, flap so what you need to do is uh, rotate the f what you need to do is rotate this flap and uh, have the head rotated before you push back the flap here uh, I would prefer to have uh, Bumblebee looking a little bit further down uh, unfortunately uh, it's up to the limits so this is the maximum that uh, I can have uh, Bumblebee looking down um, it's not too bad um, but uh, it will be much better if you can uh, have Bumblebee looking a little bit further down so I think uh, generally is it is still a very good uh, articulation for this figure now uh, one of the first uh, part that I actually broke uh, is actually this uh, holes down here if you look at it carefully it, it looks as though it's uh, one whole piece together with the body in actual fact this one is actually super glued to the uh, uh, waist down there and uh, this holes does not stick uh, all the way in the only one part that is uh, sticking to the waist is this small little part the rest of this uh, hose is actually uh, overhang it's not resting on any part of the waist so when you start uh, posing the leg once you start rotating this may actually uh, hit this hose which is uh, overhang and break off so I have uh, glued it back in I have not used uh, super glue uh, I've used some uh, normal glue, uh, Yuhu glue. So the next time I break this one, I still can glue it back in. So with super glue, once you break it, you may break uh, the whole part into half or something like that. So uh, this is the sacrifice that I have to do. Uh, nevertheless, uh, this one seems uh, okay uh, after I have uh, glued it back in. Uh, there are other things uh, that is uh, very loose uh, when you start posing this uh, wing down here this part and uh, the other side of this wing also will actually fall off so there is an uh, advantage on that uh, once this one is fall off you do not actually hit the wing here because uh, once you start uh, pushing this wing upwards you will hit this uh, part and uh, may break the wing so with these two joint uh, actually uh, comes out when you are over uh, post to, to its limit so this will help to uh, protect your joint so that you won't you won't break uh, uh, so with that try to have the wing uh, a bit uh, Post downwards so that you will not have the issues of uh, uh, having a contact to this uh, hinge joint here. The tires also looks amazing. Uh, this one is actually a rubber tire, and the other tire that I can find. Uh, is this uh, tire down here um, the feel of this tire seems to be uh, plastic so I don't think this is rubber so you can you can uh, because it's inside so you you hardly have uh, contact with your hands so this one is uh, somewhat uh, plastic uh, I'm still okay with that because uh, rubber tires over time may actually crack 
uh, with a lot of uh, those uh, toys nowadays they try to use back um, plastic in instead of uh, uh, this uh, rubber so rubber uh, no doubt that you can have uh, really stick feel on the uh, figure but uh, over time it may degrade and uh, may lose its uh, uh, value once uh, the rubber start cracking off overall uh, 3 a has done a fantastic job by giving us the uh, dark of the moon bumblebee version uh, the other bumblebee uh, which is uh, in the market with uh, this kind of uh, details are uh, the uh, prime one studio and also caliber toys uh, unfortunately both uh, caliber toys and prime one studio the price tag is uh, very high uh, especially the prime one studio um, but in terms of uh, quality prime one studio may uh, have a lasting uh, uh, durability because uh, it is a polystone statue uh, unfortunately a polystone statue is a statue so you can't really post uh, up a statue so if you want to meddle with your uh, bumblebee once in a while with uh, this kind of uh, uh, pose i would suggest uh, that you have 3a instead of a statue uh, that's about it Thank you for staying tuned with uh, Articulate. Hope to see you next time. Remember to share, subscribe, and spread the love. Until then, Articulate signing off. See you next time. Bye bye.